Black women, aren't you tired of the propaganda of us being viewed as strong, but not soft, masculine, but not feminine, combative, but not pleasant? And this is what our men are saying about us. In the black community, we were taught to be strong and educated, but not soft and feminine. Get on your feminine journey and join me on YouTube at Mrs. Danielle DeVita, my podcast, Feminine Energy with Danielle DeVita, or you can just book a session by going to mymentor.life forward slash Danielle DeVita. Get on your feminine journey today. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K. of the Demetra K. Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So in August... A cheerleader by the name of Tasharia Boyles was kicked off of the cheerleading squad because her cheerleading coach saw that she had posted what she says was some inappropriate videos on her TikTok video. Now, this particular video in question was called From the Back. I guess it's a challenge where, you know, they dance and they turn around and, you know, you shake a little something or whatever. Now, Tasharia is 15 and she is a junior at Hardin Valley High School in Knoxville, Tennessee. And so... Her mother, uh, Toxie, says, well, once we, you know, got the call that the videos are inappropriate, or whatever, we took the video down. I think it was a big deal. But then the school decided to kick Tasharia off, saying because she posted some more videos that were not appropriate for a Hardin Valley cheerleader. Okay. So the mom was like, okay, wait a minute. Now you're targeting my daughter because, for one, she's not doing videos that the other white cheerleaders have not done. Also, you're targeting my daughter, you know, because she's black and she has a shape. She can't help that she has a body. And that's what, you know, of course, her mother was saying. And so I tend to believe that the cheerleading coach is probably a very plain Jane white woman that's shaped like an ironing board, got mad, you know, and decided that she was going to police to Sharia. Now, I will say this. I saw the video. Um, it's not something that I would want my daughter to do. But, you know, I may be approved. I don't know. But nevertheless... Tasharia's mother has a claim. I mean, don't do something to my daughter that you're not doing to the white cheerleaders. Now, also, the school got in their feelings just a little bit deeper and called Department of Children's, Children's Services on Tasharia's mother. She said they knocked on her door, told them what they were told, all that she was being, you know, exploiting her daughter sexually through the videos. And, of course, Department of Children's Services says that we don't find that to be the case. So they closed it. So her mother is looking to hire a lawyer and she is contacting the ACLU because she feels like her civil rights or her daughter's civil rights actually were violated. So y'all tell me, what do you guys think? Anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.